New evidence. They've been planning this for years. Welcome to the most censored news. I'm Lee Cab. Let's start off with a game of what if. What if you were a, a ruthless, unhinged empire engaged in a proxy war with Russia and Ukraine? And, and, and by the way, don't take my word for it. There's the former head of the CIA saying it's a proxy war. We are engaged in a conflict here. Uh, it's a proxy war with uh, Russia, whether we say so or not. So you're in this proxy war. You've basically turned Ukraine into a little bombed out feudal state of the West doing whatever you want. So what would be your plan for your new toy? If you answered, try to do the best for the Ukrainian people and secure them a, a good, comfortable and sustainable future. Then you have the intelligence of a koala bear drunk off its ass on eucalyptus. Ah, koalas, the Dennis Rodmans of the animal kingdom. But if you said, plunder it, then you win. What do they win? Oh, right. You win everything you can steal from Ukraine. On July 4th and 5th, 2022, top officials from the US, EU, Britain, Japan, and South Korea met in Switzerland for a so-called Ukraine Recovery Conference. Ah, the Ukraine Recovery Conference. I bet they recommended things like uh, uh, visiting elder care facilities, right? Just, just acting interested in the old folk stories and, uh, you know, free housing for everyone in Ukraine having a rough time, right? And, and maybe putting a lot of money into free, awesome public transit systems, like, like, like those kind of things, right? They, they, is that what they recommended for the Ukraine uh, Recovery Conference? Not quite. They met to plan a series of harsh neoliberal policies to impose on post-war Ukraine, calling to cut labor laws, open markets, quote unquote, drop tariffs, deregulate industries, and sell state-owned enterprises to private investors. All right, the normal U.S. empire game plan, destroy an area of the world, then put in drastic and cruel, horrific capitalist policies that enrich a tiny number of people and don't actually help the, the average people uh, suffering on the ground. So this kind of undermines the whole, we're here for Ukrainians. We want to help them live their best lives by wearing flag pins on our shirts and, 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 and selling off their country to billionaires. I feel so good about myself for helping them. Oh, yeah, almost as good as when I wore that, that Livestrong bracelet for, for a couple of weeks. Feel pretty good. But believe it or not, this plan to pillage Ukraine didn't start when the proxy war did this past February. New evidence shows the U.S. and other Western countries had been planning this for years. Years! As Ben Norton reported, the Ukraine Recovery Conference was not new. In the previous five years, the group and its annual meetings were instead referred to as the Ukraine Reform Conference. 2018 documents stated that the ultimate goal of the reform was to sell state-owned enterprises to private investors. And when you think about it, selling state-owned enterprises to private investors is taking something that belonged to all of the people in Ukraine and giving it to a handful of billionaires. Oh, that's just stealing on a massive scale, right? You, you see, if you take someone's lamp, it's called stealing and you can get arrested and go to jail. But if instead of just one lamp, you steal the entire electric system of an area, then it's called privatization. And you're called a titan of business or an investor. Well, as much as it sounds like pillaging a country, if the Ukrainian people want it to happen, then who am I to argue? Actually, the URC acknowledged that they were very unpopular among actual Ukrainians. A poll found that just 12.4% supported privatization of state-owned enterprises, whereas 49.9% opposed it. All right, so the Ukrainian people want to be pillaged even less than they wanted that Chris Angel benefit show. But yeah, the US and other Western countries are gonna pillage anyway. They don't give a shit. They even urged Ukraine to cut taxes on corporations and wealthy capitalists. I like how they use the word urged. It's like saying a guy with a gun to your head urged you to give him your wallet if you see fit. But sometimes selling a country on being plundered takes some help from your good friends in jolly old England. 
Last November, leaked documents showed that the UK government via its development aid arm, UK Aid, and the UK Embassy in Kiev was funding consultants to assist the Ukrainian Ministry of Economy in selling its neoliberal market reforms to the Ukrainian people. And the Ukrainian government has done exactly as they've been told. In May, the government passed laws wrecking workers' rights. Zero-hour contracts were set to be legalized. And 70% of the workforce exempted from workplace protections. Ukrainians are watching their rights that they worked a generation to obtain being deleted like a Snapchat, just wiped away in seconds. As Ben Norton also mentioned, this all brings to mind the Washington-led shock therapy done against Russia after the fall of the USSR. A 2001 UNICEF study found that these harsh neoliberal reforms in Russia caused 3.2 million excess deaths and pushed 18 million children into poverty, bringing about rampant malnutrition and public health crises. Just 18 million kids starving. Why do they act like that's such a bad thing? We, you know, we've got, we've got an obesity epidemic here in the U.S., and, and we, were just, we were just trying to keep those Russian kids from suffering from man tits like our kids. We were helping them out. So let's recap for just a second. The U.S. government has admitted it's a proxy war. The U.S. government has admitted Ukraine won't win at this point. The U.S. government has admitted they're lying about the truth on the ground. Documents reveal that the U.S. and Western allies have been planning to pillage Ukraine for years. New documents also reveal the U.S. and Western allies have begun the pillaging. And leaked documents reveal the U.K. is showing the corrupt Ukrainian government how to make the pillaging go down nice and smooth, like a fine single malt scotch. Then, when Ukraine is inevitably awful in a few years, like Iraq or Afghanistan or Libya after we invaded there, the U.S. will look over and go, they really need to get their act together. What's wrong with them? It's like dissecting a frog and then asking why it's not thriving. What's wrong with you, frog? All I did was take out some of your vital organs and now you acted all salty about it. Get it together. That's it for now, but please leave a comment with your thoughts and click subscribe. And since we are completely independently funded, we need you to keep this show going. Become a member on Patreon. Keep fighting.